time here in Goss's Garage, we're going to talk about a new player in the belt game. Now, what are we talking about? What could be new as far as belts are concerned? We went from V belts to uh, ribbed belts such as we see here and so on. These things have been around for years. So what do you do with them? Well, typically you use a wrench and you take the tension off them and you put the, uh, take the old belt off, put the new one on, release the wrench so the tension is back on the belt, and you're done. Well, guess what? This particular belt, and there are multiples of these out there, this is what is called a stretch fit belt. Now, what does that mean? Well, that means that there is no adjustment, there's no tensioner, Everything is fixed in place and you have to somehow take this belt off. That's easy. You could just cut it if you wanted to. But you'd have to take it off and then you have to somehow stretch the new belt over the pulleys. How do you go about doing that? Well, lots of folks try pliers, screwdrivers, all kinds of different things. Now here is a brand new belt. This came from CarQuest, such as we see here. Here's the sleeve for it. Nothing wrong with the belt. Perfectly fine belt until Harry Homeowner got a hold of it. Let's see if we can find the, uh, the damage. Right here, if we look at this, we can see, pull that up, and if we look at that, we can see that the rib is torn apart, and that's from trying to pry the belt over the pulleys. Brand new belt, destroyed, no good. All right, so how do you go about putting these things on? Well, the Blue Point division of Snap-on Tools supplied us with this stretch fit belt kit. Now, it comes with instructions, has these two units, we see them here, they're for different uh, applications and so on. And what these do is you put them under the belt, between the belt and the pulley, and they're designed in such a manner that as you turn the pulleys, it will walk the belt onto the pulleys. And that's about the only way that you're going to get one of these belts on, typically, without damaging it in some manner. So. If you have one of these stretch fit belts and you're going to replace it yourself, make sure that you rent, buy, borrow, whatever it takes, one of these tools so that you can put it on. And if you have a question or a comment or just want a lot of great information, check us out at goss-garage.com.